Okay, uh, this is a radiograph of an odontogenic keratocyst with, multi with multiple locules. As we can see, uh, there is corctation around each cavity. Uh, this radiograph uh, resembles an ameloblastoma, though the lack of expansion gives us a clue to the correct diagnosis. Okay, so it resembles ameloblastoma. So uh, let's look at, now at the uh, clinical features of odontogenic keratocyst. It's about uh, 5 to 11 percent of the jaw cysts. Its incidence peaks in uh, uh, second and third decades, and mean uh, age is 38 years. It, it, form, it is formed uh, intraosseously. This means it's in found in the bone, okay? It's formed in the bone, as we can see, this is the mandible, okay? Can you see this is the mandible? As you can see, this is the mandible, okay? So it's found in the uh, bone or intraosseously. Uh, intra, intra and uh, most frequently in the alveolar ridge or angle of the mandible. So here, this is the angle of the mandible, okay? or the al uh, alveolar ridge, okay? Posterior uh, alveolar ridge. Uh, the mandible uh, occur, uh, the percentage of the mandible is about 75%, predominantly pre in, uh, found in uh, uh, premolars and molar region, okay? It's found, this is the premolar, as you can see, these are premolars, so it's found in the molar or premolar re region. It grows around the tooth, sometimes multilocular, multilocular, uh, radiographically. Uh, spreads extensively along narrow spaces before expanding the jaw. Frequently recurs after inoculation, so it may recur after inoculation. So after removal, it may recur. Okay. Definitive diagnosis only by histopathology, although clinical and radiographic features may allow fairly accurate preoperative diagnosis. It may be confused with amyloblastoma or dentigerous cyst. So it may be, it may be confused with an amyloblastoma or a dentigerous cyst radiographically. May may be part of a basal cell nevus syndrome. It may be uh, part of a basal cell nevus syndrome. Or we call it Gorlin. Okay, so uh, this is a radiograph of an odontogenic keratocyst with multiple locules. With multiple locules, as we can see here, we can see them here clearly. Okay, thank you for listening and goodbye for now.